Well, I was going to try to wait to come on here. And uh, hi, I'm Deacon John Wilson. I'm the Education Enrichment Director from West Angeles Church. And if I continue to be bombarded by my students and watching the news, I'm seeing what's happening on your campuses. And I'm going to do a definitive video uh, tomorrow, which is Saturday, the 26th. I'll drop it by noon. Uh, by, by, let's just say by 3 Pacific time. But right now, I want to say to my George Washington and Howard and American University students, I need you to take a step back, remain calm. Uh, I see that George Washington has some students who may be friends of yours uh, that are projecting images that are really hateful and anti-Semitic. Uh, and, I, and again, I'm trying to separate the issues out. But, you know, there's the issue of the attack on those settlements and the 1,400 Jewish family members that were killed in many horrible, horrible ways. So you have factions of students and universities at first that justified the attacks. Those universities are now reversing course, and some never did justify it. So you have the issue of... Uh, those attacks, and then the general issue of the Palestinian-Israel Israel problem. And I'm going to address both of those issues in videos tomorrow. But right now, I need my GW students to stay out of this. Don't be involved in, in damaging property at your university or projecting images up and ask your friends to calm down because many students are misled on this issue. Now, I should probably tell you what triggered this. GW rightfully condemned or separated themselves from these projections on the gentleman library at GW. Now, I'm going to talk about the Howard situation separately because the Howard president has chosen to say nothing. And I know why he's saying nothing, because in the Black community, we have a lot of affinity for the struggle of the Palestinians, what we perceive as a struggle. And I'll cover that tomorrow. But in the case of GW, they came out early and often condemning the horrible attack on those Jewish people. And that has a lot to do with GW being 40% Jewish. I think it's 30% of the students that go there are Jewish. And the leadership of the university and the current president are Jewish. Uh, but it doesn't matter why. It never matters why people take a moderate or right position. Um, but let's go over what was said on the side of those buildings. I think again, I'll link you to this article below. And here it is right here. They said divestment from Zionist genocide now. It was all about you know Zionists. So Zionists are people who believe that the Israel as a country has a right to exist. Um Clearly, there are people in the Middle East and even here in the United States that do not believe that Israel has a right to exist. And they want to destroy Israel. Because look at the next thing that was up. Free, Pal free Palestine from the uh, river to the sea. Clearly a reference to the Jordan River. Uh, that means you basically want to destroy Israel as a nation. Glory to our martyrs. I mean, this suggests that right now Israel is killing people. Uh, they're certainly not going in and killing families like happened to them. I'm very sorry. I'm taking a clear moral position on this. Uh, we can sit here and argue another separate issue about how they should proceed, whether they should invade Gaza or not. Because, by the way, it may surprise you. I don't think they should. I think they do have a problem of how, to, how they can live peacefully with people bordering on their nation who want to destroy them. And anyway, let's stay on the matter of these projections. They, these projections uh, were very uncomfortable to Jewish students. And some Jewish students at GW already have been yelled at and attacked in class, as I understand. And uh, student newspaper reports the group was forced to take down the projection. So I'll include this article. But GW students, I got a bunch of y'all, you know, there's about six or seven of you. I need you to remain perfectly calm. I'm going to call you and check on you 
and make sure you get this message. I don't want to call y'all by name, but stay out of this. Don't be involved in damaging property or projecting images on buildings. I understand it's happening again right now on the side of the Marvin Center. I heard that. Uh, listen to your president on this issue, please. And, uh, you know, these same people who want to be hateful to Israel right now are stirred up by what Israel's doing in Gaza right now, but what started it? Do you even remember on October 7th what started it? They invaded Israel and killed horribly 1,400 people. And maybe I ought to sit up here on the video, and maybe I'll do it and describe the atrocities. Because I don't think it's getting through on CNN or MSNBC or New York Times or the Washington Post for that matter. You're being tricked by the media. All right, I need you to calm down. Read this article. Listen to your president, GW students. Howard students, stand down. Stand by. I got some things to say to you as black young young women, young men and young women that you need to hear. Um, and, and my black students in general about this whole matter, especially if you follow God, if you're a follower of Jesus Christ. You know, you, you you need to listen to this next video, but even this one. Um, so GW students, just relax. God bless you. I'll be back with you real soon. I'll be trying to call you. God bless you uh, for now. Bye-bye uh, now.